Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to import data from an Excel workbook table into a SharePoint list. So I'm going to just go here under my site contents in a new site I have here and just create a new list. And there I have the big Excel button to the left here. So I'll just upload a file, bicycle sales here, and then I get into the wizard. And the thing that you should do in this wizard is select the proper column types and of course the proper table you want to import from. In this case, I'm going to change these text columns here, which are actually much better as choice columns. And SharePoint does the good work of analyzing the different choices. So it will be a proper choice columns with the proper colors, for example, there. Then you can, of course, select things like this, that the numbers should actually be currency in this case. The order date should be a date and time. Didn't pick on, uh, up on that properly. And the number here should be currency also. So go through these and check the columns that they're in being imported correctly. And you do next and create. And now it's creating that list. And then it's going to say 100% is done. And I made the mistake several times of just, you know, canceling this then, but then the data is not important. Of course, you want the data to remain important. So be a bit patient here and wait until this uh, says that it's 100% done, including the data. So we're waiting for that. So when, when you're using a wizard like this and not, you know, having total control of the process, you should watch out for what, what's happening. And I've found uh, one big problem, and that is the column names are not being created in a good way. They're being called field one, field two, and so on, which I don't like. But if you don't care about that, then all is good. Now here I am in the list and it's being important. So for example, if I go into the list settings, you'll notice that if I click on product category, which is a good camel case in, uh, field name, it's actually internally called field one, which is not a good, good field name, of course, if you want to do something with it. And that can't be changed afterwards. So that's not something that you can can modify. So that's a problem if you care about it. Of course, you can still work with field one, but it's not a very friendly for, for the developers that have to work with it. So anyhow, uh, versioning though is set. Uh, that wasn't a problem in the previous version of the Excel import. So you get a 50 versions here. You can update that to 500 or whatever you want. I think the maximum is 5,000 there. That 500 should work perfectly in most cases. There you have the import of a, an Excel workbook into a SharePoint list. Thank you for watching this demonstration.